Cincinnati death row inmates conviction is overturned after nearly three decades. A federal judge says new evidence shows the death of his six month old daughter was actually an accident. Local 12's Megan Mangello was in court as Genesis Hill makes his first trip back to Hamilton County in 28 years. Genesis Hill, fresh off a bus trip from prison, couldn't help but smile at his family sitting in the back row of the courtroom. They've been proclaiming his innocence since 1991, when six-month-old Damika's body was found in the weeds behind Hill's garage. Her body was in a baby formula box wrapped in a shopping bag, three trash bags, and black electrical tape. Her head was also wrapped in a man's shirt. I would never want to believe that he did unless Gen it came from Genesis' mouth and he told me himself that he did. A judge has now decided what he did was an accident. The Ohio First District Court of Appeals points to new analysis by a forensic pathologist who testified at his 1991 trial. She now says baby D'Amica's head injury is consistent with Hill's statements that he fell off a retaining wall in his backyard while holding the six-month-old. The pattern of skull fractures is very consistent with this type of crush injury and much less consistent with direct blows to the head usually seen in abusive head trauma. That revised opinion has given a man set to die, a plea deal that was signed in front of a judge today. We don't believe you can act until that is granted by the Supreme Court. I think you're right, I don't have jurisdiction. Judicial red tape held up Judge Allen from accepting that plea deal today. Genesis Hill and his attorney will be back in the same courtroom on June 27th to have their case heard again. Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. The federal judge's decision to overturn the conviction was also based on a police report withheld from Hill's attorney. It questions if the baby's mother and Hill's girlfriend might have lied in her testimony.